And tonight's home team, a dynamic duo that wears their community pride on their sleeve. They both could have left, but they stayed instead to make their neighborhood a better place to live. Mike Max is here to introduce us to them. Yeah, fun story. Part of rebuilding the north side is leaning on the people who grew up there to come back. That's what a pair of former star basketball players are doing. Living and working in the community they learned to love. Home. I still feel like it's a part of home, right? I know the area, all the demographics. I know some of the history. Maya so Johnson is a police family. officer on the north side like in the 4th Precinct. Home, right? And that area. means she is back home. Nancy. See, this is where it started for her, a star at Minneapolis North High School. I had uh, some really good people I would consider my village that helped raise me, and I was able to use basketball as a tool to pave my way. Went on to play at Michigan State University. Michigan State. It is the Michigan State, right? Um, I loved it. It's a lot of tradition there, a lot of great people. Um, I got the opportunity to earn my degree. She coached college and high school and is now coaching her 10-year-old daughter's teams on the north side. It was a couple officers that I, I had. And that's why it's important to her, because she knows that these Barbara, times are tense. Um, and to see my city, especially the area in which I grew up in, in the state that it's in right now, it's tough. It's tough to, to watch. Al Nolan was a star at Minneapolis Henry High School and for the Gophers. He's now got an after-school program at Falwell Park, where kids can seek a safe haven and do the things they love to do after school. Because we had pizza and I like to learn about basketball. <laughs> this is about programs for kids, but the problems, they extend to the entire city. Post uh, George Floyd's murder, as well as the pandemic, there's a lot of trauma um, in the community and the neighborhood that's not being addressed, and I think it's trickling down, you know, among, across the city. In this space, the youth gather, and they are secure. That, like, it's a fun place, and that I feel safe when I'm here, and that you could do a lot of things. There can never be enough programming, you know, and I've heard that from a lot of my mentors in the space um, that are still currently doing the great work now. Uh, so there can never be enough, and we need to offer more services for our kids and for our community. Our presence is important. That's what Maya Johnson believes, and that safety starts by interaction with officers in the community. Giving them the opportunity to have, be able to build relationships with officers outside yes. of just crime and so responding you know to... what's going on before oh, it goes yeah. on, right? Oh, yeah. Because this is her home and this is where she wants to be, to participate, to raise her daughter, and to remind Minnesota that this north side, it's got a lot going for it. There's still, like I said, there's a lot of good things still happening right here in North Minneapolis. And for me, I was a product of my environment, and I believe that there was a lot of good. There still is a lot of good here. No doubt. Johnson will be coaching her 10-year-old daughter's team this summer, and as you drive around with her, it's like one big small town and the way they respond to her. It's, it's great to see the interaction on both fronts. Yeah, oh, it's a great story. I'm just thinking, Max, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could clone both of them like yep. 100 times over? Absolutely, wow. because their heart, they're leading with their heart, and that's important. Okay. Thank you.